Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. Alrighty, today is the 17th of January 2020. 2020! Where has the time went? So, I wanted to do a quick little update and a, a news video, basically. And uh, what's going on here is uh, DCS has, uh, or Eagle Dynamics, has announced the supercarrier is ready for pre-order. And uh, I called this one, guys. It looks like the pre-order price or the retail value is going to be $49.99 when it's released. If you pre-order it right now, you can save 30%. Uh, owners of the F-18 Hornet who own the Hornet already will receive an additional 20%. So, if you go to the eShop, you'll also find that in addition to the pre-order starting today, they've started what they're calling something about the lunar sale. I swear to God, man, I, I hope our, our simulation world isn't in trouble because I've seen more sales by these guys over the past three months than I've ever seen, ever. Uh, it's like every two weeks there's another sale. And usually I thought it was like quarterly or something, but man, it was like fall, holidays, Christmas, you know, this has got to be the fifth sale, I think, in three or four months. Uh, but that's not entirely a bad thing. That's good for us, because the last one, they finally had the F-14 on sale. So, in addition to uh, getting a hold of the uh, pre-order for the Super Carrier, there's a couple of deals they got, and I wanted to show you these bundles. So, one of the bundles they have is, okay, you're new to DCS, you don't have the Hornet. And you don't have the SU-33 because they're going to in the supercarrier. They're going to include the Kuznov care a re what is it a an, an updated version of the Kuznikov or whatever the Russian carrier, um, which is what the SU-33 utilizes. And uh, for $64.99, they'll give you the Hornet, the supercarrier, and the SU-33, which by itself is about seven seven fifty when not on sale. Um, or seven fifty when on sale, fifteen dollars when not on sale, and then the super carriers fifty. The Hornet I've never seen for less than like sixty three bucks. So that's an incredible freaking value right there. Um, the other deal they have going right now is the F eighteen C in the Persian Gulf map for eighty four bucks. Again, never seen the F eighteen C on sale for less than like sixty three bucks. Persian Gulf map. Uh, I think it's been half price before, or damn close to it. So 84 bucks, that's a good deal. That map alone's 50 bucks. The Hornet's 80 bucks. So do the math, right? 130 bucks or 84. And then they have the Normandy 1944 map and the World War II assets pack sold together for 29.99. Incredible value, uh, especially now considering they've redone the Normandy map. The Normandy map on sale is about 22 bucks right now, and the World War II assets pack is about 15 bucks. So it's a, it's it's an even more savings over buying them separately on sale right now. This is how I bought it like maybe seven eight months ago, and uh, again now that they've redone the Normandy map and added all the new details and and polished it up, it looks really freaking good. Uh, definitely a good time to uh, start to consider maybe the World War II stuff. And this map alone looks great you know, to do other things with modern aircraft over as well, especially helicopters. It's a good, good map for that kind of thing. Take a look at the modules now that are on sale at the moment. Um, it's not as good of a sale as the last sale was, because the last sale had the uh, Tomcat finally on sale. Uh, this time out, you can get the Warthog for half off. Uh, Super Carrier, now this price, keep in mind, this is my account I'm logged into, so it shows $24.99 because I own the F-18. If you don't own the F-18, the pre-order price is going to be plus 20%. So I can get it for $24.99, and I'm going to come back to this. JF-17, $80, eh, doesn't interest me. Especially not at that price. If it was half off, I'd probably consider it, but this thing doesn't really seem to interest me much at the moment. Not for that kind of money. The Viper is back to $80. I love the Viper. Uh, it's got a long way to go, though. Uh, FW190, Falk Wolf 190A8 is on sale for half off. The I-16 is on sale for half off. The MiG-19 Farmer is only so many percent. That's only, what, like maybe 12 bucks less than what it is full price. Uh, the Christian Eagle is not on sale at all. 
all the FC3 planes are 749 which is half off. Tomcat's back to full price. Yak-52 is half off. The Hornet is 20% off right now. So if you think about it, that $64.99 deal is, is pretty fucking good. Because um, if you bought, you, you'd be stupid to buy the Hornet separately for 60 bucks. When for 64 bucks you get that, the Persian Golf, or no, that the pre-order for the Super Carrier and the SU-33 for 64 bucks. I would definitely not just buy it by itself right now. Uh, DCS AV8B, it's the Harrier, uh, 52.49. This has been on sale for half off. Not a good time to buy the Harrier. Excellent module, though. And look, Assets Pack by itself is $14.99, half off. The Vigan, half off, well worth the price of admission. Spitfire, half off. Uh, F5E is half off. Gazelle is half off. The uh, Mirage 2000 is only a couple bucks less. What, 15 bucks? So, not a good time to buy the Mirage. This is usually half off, too. Uh, Albatross, half off. C101, half off. MiG-15 is half off. MiG-21 isn't even on sale at all. Uh, BF-109, half off. Sabre, half off. Focke-Wulf 190 Dora is half off. The MI-8, Magnificent 8, is half off. And the Huey is half off. Flaming Cliffs 3 for $24.99. I can't stress enough how awesome of a value that really is. Uh, those are really fun planes to fool around with. And just the sheer amount of content you get with that, you know. If you're new to DCS, I still say it's it, this is the best starting point. Because after you've done this, and then you jump up to a full fidelity module, you really have all the basics down. Uh, combined arms is 20 bucks. And you know what? I probably would have got this a long time ago, but when it says VR support not currently available, that really keeps me from bothering with it. If it did, I would probably try this on a whim. Uh, Mustang, half off. Black Shark 2, half off. And then the rest of these are the Flaming Cliffs 3 modules by themselves for $750, which is half off. I don't know how they decide to do these sales and what gets put on sale and what doesn't. It's, it's interesting. Okay, let's take a look at terrains real quick. Uh, Persian Golf Map is not half off, but again, that bundle they had with the uh, F-18 and the Persian Golf map makes the most sense. Normandy is $22.49. That is half off, and that's well worth the price of admission at this point. And of course, you know, my fav one of my favorites at least, probably the first favorite I'd say, is the Nevada Test and Training map. And I just did a video on that the other day. That is $24.99. Well worth the price of admission. Uh, campaigns. So, I always put the, the last few newer ones at the top here, and the F-86 Hunters over Yalu is not on sale. The UH-1 Worlds Apart is not on sale. The rest of these are pretty much half off if you browse through here. Some of them might not be. Enemy Within 3.0 is not half off, but the, the, the vast majority of what you're going to find here are half off. I'm probably going to get this red flag for the Mirage 2000, because that looks like that would be one of the most fun ones, I think. Um, and then the Vigan is still listed in here as no price with the buy button, because they're going to give this away soon, and I'm just I'm dying to get my hands on that, because I have the Vigan and I really like it. Uh, but again, the majority of these campaigns that are left in here are half off so if you're looking to get your hands on some content and you're tired of making missions or downloading freebies um, this is probably a good way to do that and to get your hands on them and then uh, let's see some of the other news of the past few weeks is the addition of the yeah, the winter sale just ended this is this piece right here is just like a couple weeks ago. But they announced the Marianas Islands map recently. And this looks really good, man. It's going to include Guam, Anderson Air Force Base, U.S. Naval Station at Guam, you know, just tons of stuff. Saipan, Tinan, Rota, and uh, I don't know, I don't know how to pronounce that one, the last few. But a bunch of cool screenshots here. And then they were talking about the A-10 Warthog 2, which is going to be an upgrade to the A-10 Warthog. Uh, you can basically pay if you're an existing owner of the Warthog. It should be a significant discount, they're saying. And the same goes for Black Shark 3. They did offer recently for the A-10 Warthog the 3D cockpit upgrade for free. 
Uh, Black Shark, they're going to do the same thing. The cockpit is going to be free, but there's going to be avionics and weapon systems updates to it, and they'll charge for that. Uh, like they said with the other one, it should be a significant discount. Uh, they're still working on the P-47D Thunderbolt. They're still working on the de Havilland. The Mi-24 P Hind is still going on. Uh, they're promising, uh, moving ahead, that the Hornet and the Viper are going to get a lot of attention. Uh, they're also talking about the addition of cooperative multiplayer for the Huey in 2020. Uh, modern air combat supposedly is still on track. Kiowa Warrior, we talked about that not long ago in an interview I did with those guys. And Razbam mentioned, uh, or in this news, mentioned that they are definitely working on the F-15E Strike Eagle. Dying to get my hands on that one. I just, that's so awesome. You know, I just I'd be happy with any high fidelity F-15 at this point. And if you go over here, Eagle Dynamics has a really nice uh, screenshots section where they put all the stuff of work in progress a lot of the time. So if you go in here, this is the in development stuff. You know, that's the Admiral Kuzkov upgrade with the Su-33 carrier. There's another shot of Super Carrier. They also announced about a week or so back the channel map, and this is going to be like an England uh, map for World War II stuff. So it looks like they're finally trying to up their game in the uh, realm of World War II flight sims, and they really need to. You know, one of the other things they talked about was fixing the and, and tweaking the damage model for the World War II stuff too. So. I, I know I've been hard on the World War II stuff, and, it, and it's hard not to be when you can go to, like, IL-2 for, like, literally a, a, a fraction of the cost of what it costs you to do this stuff in DCS, even when the DCS stuff is on sale. But holy fuck, do they make this look really appealing, though. Like, it, everything looks better in DCS. Uh, there's a shot of the Hind cockpit, Black Shark 3, Marianas Islands. Here's some of the pictures from that. What I like about this Marianas Islands thing is look at the, the lush scenery. This looks like this would be great to be like a mock-up Vietnam scenario with the Huey, you know? I, I think that's very, very promising. The water looks absolutely amazing, you know? The, the coastline. Just fun stuff, man. Such a good time to like flight sims, you know? And then here's more shit from the super carrier here. A bunch more images from it and this looks really promising uh, just to be able to you know get ready to go on a, uh, a a real virtual deck with you know things going on making you feel like you're part of a bigger picture overall you know very promising stuff indeed. Uh, one of the other things that happened is uh, they just announced an update the other day for IL-2 that was pretty substantial too. So if you're into IL-2, I play it sometimes. I'm definitely not going to sit here and tell you I play it as much as I do DCS. Um, but a significant update to IL-2, it's 4.003. And that was uh, put out 12.17 last month. Uh, tons of improvements as well. And then one of the other things, they had an announcement today too on the dev blog, and they have put out some new screenshots of uh, some stuff that they're doing over there in IL-2 as well. And uh, nice place to go. I'm going to put these all in the uh, show notes at the bottom there, or what do you call that? I guess notes for video notes or whatever. Uh, underneath of the video, there's usually a blurb that I type, and then they put all that bullshit in the way at the bottom, and there's a little thing that says show more. You have to click that show more to be able to see some of the stuff that I put in there that goes beyond the first paragraph, because it's really frustrating to try to help people out, and I put all this stuff in there, and nobody sees it, because if you don't click show more, you're never going to see it. And people were confused the other day when I posted the uh, F-22 mod video, because you can't see it unless you click show more. So all the links were in there to download that thing, and I, can, I don't know how many people asked me, how do I get this mod? Where do I get it from? And I'm like, it's there, but you got to click show more. I think that's a, a YouTube thing that they got to work on fixing, unfortunately. And then the other thing I noticed the other day, this is from a post on December 25th, but I, I noticed a YouTube video a guy was talking about it the other day, and X-Plane looks like it's uh, moving ahead pretty good and uh, when they with Vulcan. 
And I don't know if you know, but Vulkan's a different API, uh, a different way of rendering everything and sending it to the video card, basically. So, you know, DCS uses DirectX 11. I think X-Plane right now uses OpenGL. And basically think of it as the uh, traffic cop between all the data that the sim hands off and there has to be somebody in the middle before the video card, basically. And uh, DirectX 11 is what DCS uses. Uh, X-Plane right now uses OpenGL. And I want to say IL-2 uses DirectX 12. Correct me if I'm wrong. Uh, anyway, what's exciting about this is that um, Vulkan, in general, will allow you to use more processor cores which should equate to better frames per second overall. And uh, they're also working on the Metal API, which is the API that the Mac uses for rendering. So it should be interesting. Um, so I think that's it, man. I can't really think of anything else major. Like I said, Marianas map, the channel map, uh, Super Carrier is, is really the big news of the day. And if, you know, if, if you own some, you know, DCS... Uh, Hornet already, you know what I mean? It, it's 25 bucks to pre-order it, which is a hell of a deal. Uh, definitely worth the price of admission there. Oh, the other thing I wanted to say is uh, I'm going to be putting together an interview for Eagle Dynamics and Matt Wagner, and um, I wanted to know if you guys had any questions that you would like me to ask the guys at Eagle Dynamics for the uh, future interview that I'm going to post over at the Wargame Guru website. And I'll probably make a video as well announcing it whenever that goes live. And uh, I'm going to throw some questions together here over the next few weeks. And uh, like I said, meanwhile, I would like to know what you guys would like to know uh, from Eagle Dynamics in terms of questions. What would you like me to ask Matt Wagner and the crew over there? about the future of DCS or any existing modules. Any gripes, any complaints? I'm sure there's a lot of those because there usually is on the internet. But again, I'm, I'm going to do that here soon and I just confirmed that today and uh, I think it's going to be a pretty cool thing. So I think that's, I'm going to call it quits for today. Uh, that pretty much covers the news for today which is what, January 17th, 2020. Uh, as always, thanks for watching. Please subscribe to the channel. Feel free to hit that like button. And until next time.